All right, thanks for tuning in. We're back at it for another season. Today, we're going to be looking at a few trail systems outside of saint jerome Quebec. saint jerome is just north of Montreal, about 30 minutes. Uh, if you're coming from Ottawa Gatineau, take the 50 out by Mirabel and then take the 15 up and you'll arrive there. So there's three trail systems just outside of saint jerome One's called Bellefeuille, you have Parc Nature du Lac Jérôme, and then you have Colin du Punitile. So I went in, hit up the uh, Bellefeuille sector first, and this is kind of what it looks like. I went and parked down here at the cul de sac. I took Hypothalamus to go in, and then just right off the bat, just nix these. Don't go there at all. Forget about them. They're complete garbage, all overgrown. If you were going to ride the trail system, you would hang a left and then hit this one called the Big O, which is just kind of like a, a hick four wheel trail, your ATV trail. And then we're going to go look at this other one here, which is uh, kind of like a downhill, a wide, wide kind of road thing. So just a quick note on this trail system. It seems it's not really an official mountain bike trail system. It shouldn't even really be on trail forks, actually. It's just more like trails that the locals made walking their dogs. And uh, so they're like, they're rough. Like I said, this one's kind of like an ATV trail, or an old ATV trail. It's, some parts are overgrown and they're, there's really nothing special going on here. So this is why I do this to figure out what's good and what's not good and save everybody some time in the process. In general, I would say don't even bother with this place. It's not even worth it in my opinion i guess it's good trails for the locals but definitely not worth driving out there for so anyway let's just go uh dive in and have a look see what's up so through the magic of editing i'll make these trails look better than they actually are. Sprinkle in a little bit of music, make all the necessary cuts, and voila.
mal höher. Alright, so then from there, went up to this uh, network up here. Uh, Conan Dupinutsihe, so uh, Rip Tire Hill. And uh, I went in and climbed L5 rows. It's just a single track climb. It's uh, pretty easy. Just gets a little more uh, sketchy towards the top here. And then you do the back end of L2, the descent, to come up to the top. There's just a few places you have to get off and walk here, like a couple like rock rollers that are can't really climb them and that will bring you to this one right here La Traverse so La Traverse is uh, I'd say it's probably like the keystone trail for this network it's a little more of a like a traditional mountain bike trail you know it has like exposed rock bed and some roots and it's got a little more flow and up and down and it's uh, it's it's a pretty cool trail uh, which we'll see in the video so I'd say if you're gonna do this place just go for this trail um, Otherwise, everything else is kind of not really that special. But um, yeah, let's go dive in and uh, take a better look at what this is all about here. Okay, so this is uh, top half of L2, but reversed. We're gonna go to uh, Traverse. Yeah, so that trail to the right there, that was uh, L1 Principal, and I think if I was to climb this one again, I would probably take that one instead. I think it looks a little more uh, kosher. So anyway, just wanted to uh, mention that. So this should be La Traverse. So this is actually just the top half of L1, and that leads into Traverse, which uh, we'll see in a bit. Oh yeah, a little bit of vert. It's nice. And so in case you missed it, this is where uh, that Traverse starts L3 at the top of the hill. Check my map. I'm going the right way. Okay. A little bit more like a mountain bike trail. And now we're on Lord of the Flies. And then uh, the next part is called Skip School. Hey, look at me, I'm skipping school. Thought that was cool. Got the bell to boot. Where's this go? Just uh, check the map here. 
All right, so when you get to the uh, top of the hill here, you can kind of explore around on top. Um, I actually missed this run, E3, Gnome Sweet Gnome. Uh, I didn't take it, I didn't even realize it was there. So um, be sure to try it out and uh, let me know how it goes. So what I ended up taking was over the hill and it's kind of a cool little downhill and it just brings you back to the uh, L3, the Traverse. So I didn't get any video of uh, doing L3 in reverse. Um, I just stopped at a few spots to get a few clips here and there, but um, later on we're gonna take a look at L2 as well, which wasn't really anything too special. I mean, you're probably better off taking just one of these trails down, uh, back down. The bottom of L2 is kind of not really clean and uh, you can really tell where to go. So yeah, let's go check that out. So I think this way it would just continue down and comes out of the road. So what we'll do is we'll go back. Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll just go back. So I think what I was looking at there was E3, most likely, but uh, I, I didn't end up taking it. So you'll definitely want to hang a right here because it's a nicer, longer downhill and it leads you straight back into uh, that top else. It's definitely the way to go. Yeah, that's nice. Good stuff. Okay, so now we go back. Kind of an uphill. So this is, uh, this is Traverse, so we're just going back. Um, I'm gonna just cut it here and then I'll turn it back on uh, for L2 down. Okay, so we're right about here right now, just making our way back on the uh, top half of L1, and then we're gonna go into uh, L2. And just working our way back, backwards on the Traverse. And uh, I just thought I'd get this, the shot of this part just cause it's, uh, Actually, yeah, this will be the uh, L2 now. Uh, so I thought this was L2, but it's actually still the tail end of uh, L1. We're at the top of L1. So, so we're uh, gonna connect up with L2 in uh, just a bit. You'll see it just up ahead. It sounds. Hopefully it just sounds. Oh, right there. Oh, easy buddy. That's the one I'm looking for. That's it. Okay. So this should be L2. Okay, well. Oh man. Let's not let this out. Okay, that's a good sound. Whoa. Just notice with that 2.5 on the back, I guess in the trance frame, I'm getting some grub when I, uh, my impact, new impacts and stuff. Hmm. Interesting.
Now I need to make sure I'm going the right way. So rough. So rough. <laughs> 